The most common coordinate system used on the plane is the Cartesian coordinate system, denoted by a distance x in the horizontal direction and a distance y in the vertical direction. Put differently, the Cartesian coordinates identify a point by its position on a plane tiled by squares. Each coordinate indicates how many squares are traversed while traveling to the point along the axis. Squares, however, are not the only shapes that can tile to fill the plane. Consider instead a plane tiled by hexagons. In this setting, we fix an origin at the center of one hexagon and define two axes bisecting edges of the hexagons. Calling one axis h and the other k, we now have a coordinate pair of integers for each hexagon in the plane. Because the angle between the axes is 60 degrees instead of 90 degrees, the hexagonal coordinate system accommodates triangular patterns in a natural way. As a result, the hexagonal plane helps us understand three-dimensional shapes made up of triangles, such as the platonic solid called the icosahedron. The icosahedron has 20 sides, each of which is an equilateral triangle. It exhibits five-fold rotational symmetry at each vertex, two-fold symmetry at each edge, and three-fold symmetry at the centroid of each triangle. Just as a rectangular grid can lay out blueprints for a cube, a hexagonal grid can lay out blueprints for an icosahedron. By choosing a coordinate in the HK plane, we form a triangle with the origin and take 20 copies of that triangle to form an icosahedron. In the top case, the coordinate 1, 1 is selected. In the bottom, the coordinate 2, 0 is selected. Both cases yield an icosahedron as shown on the right, but they have visibly different complexities. We measure such complexity by the value t, defined to be h squared plus hk plus k squared. The top example has t equal to 3, the bottom has t equal to 4. This analysis of icosahedral symmetry was developed in the 1960s by Donald Casper and Aaron Klug in their studies of virus structure. Many viruses consist of a capsid or shell of proteins encasing the genome of the virus in an icosahedral structure. For example, the rice dwarf virus shown here is one of the most economically damaging infectious parasites of rice and wheat, causing discoloration at the site of infection and stunting plant bodies. The rice dwarf virus is a double-shelled virus with both capsids having an icosahedral symmetry structure. By unfolding each capsid into a plane, we find that the inner shell has a tiling triangle with HK coordinate 1, 0, giving it a T value of 1. The outer shell has a tiling triangle with HK coordinate 3, 1, corresponding to a T value of 13. The difference in T values reflects the fact that the outer shell is more complex than the inner one. Perfect icosahedral capsid tilings, formed by a single protein, require 60 T copies of the protein to complete the spherical shell. Today, computer scientists and mathematicians use computers to automatically detect icosahedral symmetry in virus models. Here we see the symmetry axes for the outer capsid of the rice dwarf virus. By overlaying triangles based on the hexagonal grid, we observe directly how the HK coordinate 3, 1 is calculated. Traversing one edge of the embedded icosahedron requires three steps in the H direction and one in the K direction. However, not all viruses exhibit perfect icosahedral symmetry, or even quasi-symmetry, such as the phage virus shown here. Some viruses use multiple types of proteins to encase the shell and therefore require a more advanced application of the theory of symmetric polyhedral groups to explain the myriad of tilings present in nature's virulent parasites.